My name is Renos and I welcome you back to another lesson in this series of trigonometry. In previous lessons, we have discovered the trigonometric ratios, sine of an angle, cos of an angle and tan of an angle in a right angle triangle using the adjacent side, the opposite side and the hypotenuse. It is also useful to define trig ratios on the Cartesian plane with theta at the origin. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to define the trig ratios in terms of x, y and r, use sine of an angle, cos of an angle and tan of an angle to solve right-angled triangles on a Cartesian plane. The skipper of a yacht, the Yacht of Storms, spots a whale further out to sea. He looks at the radar to determine the exact position and distance of the whale from his boat. The whale is at position X, Y. The distance from the yacht to the whale is represented by R. The angle formed by the radius and the coordinates x, y is theta. Look closely at the picture and think about why they have used x, y and R. Where have you seen these letters before? Did you think of the theorem of Pythagoras? In this picture, the coordinate x, y refers to x and y on the Cartesian plane. The radius r is the length from the origin to the coordinate point x, y. So when theta is at the origin, the side opposite to theta is the y coordinate. The side adjacent to theta corresponds to the x coordinate. And the hypotenuse is the radius r. If we now have a new set of names for the sides in a right angled triangle, we can replace opposite, adjacent and hypotenuse with this new set of names in the ratios we already know. Right, let's look at sine first. Sine of an angle is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Looking back at the radar diagram, we can see that the opposite side is the same as y and the hypotenuse is the same as r. So, we can write the ratio of sine of an angle as y divided by r. Now let's look at cos. Cos of an angle is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. On the Cartesian plane, Adjacent is the same as the x value and hypotenuse is, that's it, r. If we now write the ratio of cos of an angle, we will get x divided by r. Lastly, the tan ratio is given by opposite divided by adjacent. Can you see what the ratio will be in terms of x and y? Yes, tan of an angle is equal to y divided by x. Let's look at some examples of how we can use these ratios when solving problems on the Cartesian plane. Why don't we go back to the whale problem first? The whale is spotted at the position x, y on the radar. 
if theta is equal to 60 degrees and r is equal to 2 kilometers, determine the x-coordinate in kilometers and the y-coordinate in kilometers. Let's fill in the information on the diagram. Theta is equal to 60 degrees and r is equal to 2 kilometers. We want x and we know that the radius is 2. Can you pick out which ratio we are going to use? It's the cos ratio, yes, because cos is equal to x divided by r. Now that we have the correct ratio, let's work out what the x-coordinate is. So we know that cos of theta is equal to x divided by r. Let's fill in the values that we have. We know that the angle theta is equal to 60 degrees, so it's cos of 60 degrees is equal to we are looking for the x, but we do know that r is 2. We need to get x on its own, and we do this by multiplying both sides by 2. So it's 2 times cos of 60 degrees is equal to x. If we work out cos 60 degrees on a calculator, we get that it is equal to a half. So I'll have 2 times a half is equal to x, and x is then equal to 1. That's quite far. Now, let's work out the y coordinate. We know that the radius is 2, and we are looking for y. y radius r which ratio so we have sine theta is equal to y divided by r How else can we ask questions when you use x, y, and r rather than opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse? You are often given a question like this. We have the coordinate point 17, 8, which means that x is 17 and y is 8. Now, from the point of the origin, to the coordinate point there, we know that that is the radius or r. Let's use Pythagoras and have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared as our equation. Let's fill in our values. <laughs> It is better to leave your answer in root form than to use a calculator and get an answer of 18,8, as this has been rounded off. Now we can answer the rest of the question. The question stated, use the sketch to calculate the value of the missing variable, either x, y, or r, and then give the values of sine of an angle cos of an angle and tan of an angle. Let's fill in what we know. We've just calculated that r is the square root of 353. Let's start with sine. Sine of theta is equal to y divided by r and our y is 8 divided by r, which is the square root of 353. Now, let's move on to cos. Cos of theta is equal to x divided by r, and our x 
is 17 and that will be divided by the R which is again the square root of 353. And our third ratio, good old tan, tan of theta is equal to y over x or y divided by x, y is equal to 8 and x is equal to 17. Are you ready for some more? Let's take a look at a different type of question this time. We are given two sides of the triangle. Do you know how to solve for the third side? Yes, by using Pythagoras. Did you see where the triangle was on this sketch? Let's fill it in. There we go. I have my right angled triangle because we're going to use Pythagoras. We are given that y is the value 5 and x is the unknown variable that we are going to calculate. Now, looking at the diagram, which ratio do you think is represented by 12 divided by 13? Let's write that down. 12 divided by 13. And if I write it with the corresponding variables, that is x divided by r. Cos of an angle is equal to x divided by r. Therefore, we can write that our angle being a would mean that cos of a is equal to 12 divided by 13. In this lesson, we learned that we could define trig ratios on the Cartesian plane with an angle at the origin. We learned that when theta is at the origin, the side opposite to theta corresponds to the y coordinate, and the side adjacent to theta corresponds to the x coordinate. The hypotenuse is the radius r. We redefined the ratios as sine of the angle equals y divided by r, cos of the angle equals x divided by r, and tan of the angle is equal to y divided by x. Here is another task. Write down the values of sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta in terms of P, Q, and R. From me, Reno, till next time. Bye-bye.